This YouTube channel is sitting at over 2.3 million subscribers, and there is not even a single long form video. Instead, this guy focused on YouTube shorts only. As you can see, the channel started in April of 2023 and has gained over 4.4 billion views so far. But there is an interesting fact about this channel, which I will tell you shortly. Well, let's first calculate the earnings. Now, here's an example. This channel has gained over 4.4 billion views, and if we subtract the shorts monetization criteria with 3 million views, we still have 4 billion views. If YouTube pays one cent per thousand views, which is the bare minimum, then this channel has earned over $40,000 just from ad revenue. It equals to an average of $5,000 per month in earnings. And here's an interesting fact, all of the shorts on this channel are not original. To be honest, I also started doing the same thing on a new channel, and I will be recording the analytics every day for one month, so subscribe here to see the results. So if you might be wondering how is this person making it look as original content, here's a sample. This woman is gonna get tased, but she was about to give an unexpected reaction. Normally people end up screaming and yelling as these tasers can shoot up to 50,000 volts of electricity into the body, and even the big Biggest people in the military yell from this pain. But just watch how she handles this when the taser finally hits. Taser, taser, taser. Girl, quiet that is. She's got a funny face, isn't she? <laughs> she barely even made a sound, almost like nothing happened. Would you be able to do this? This person is writes a script for commentary, add a voiceover, along with the subtitles text. In this video, I'm going to show you how to source and edit such content to make it look original with the help of AI. This channel is focused on fitness, sports, and people, which generally targets a broader audience. First of all, go to TikTok and sign up for a free account. Now find trending videos with the hashtag related to your niche. Choose the one which you think is entertaining along with the good engagement. Copy the link and open up Google. Search for TikTok downloader and open this link. Paste the video URL here and hit the download button. Click on the without watermark button. Watch the full video and make a rough idea about what's going on. Now to edit the video, don't rely on free AI tools, so it's better to use a premium platform. I'm going to use Wondershare Filmora 13 because it provides all of the AI tools needed to create any type of video. Link is in the video description, and I have already made a full tutorial about 9 AI features of Filmora 13. So when you open Filmora 13, this panel will show up. Use this slider to see more tools. Click on AI copywriting tool because we need to create the commentary script. From the drop-down, just select the YouTube video description option. Write a prompt here, for example, write a short commentary script about a 30 seconds video. Now write a rough idea of what's happening in the video. And at the end, mention your words count. Select the output language in which you want the script to be, and click on generate button. You can also define the number of results by activating the advanced options to see multiple script variations. Once generated, pick the one which you like the most and edit it in the notepad to add or remove any words. Now close this window and click on New Project. Click on Import and select Import Media Files. Select the video that you've downloaded from TikTok. Drag and drop it on the project timeline. If the video contains conversations or talking sounds, you can right-click on the video and select the AI Vocal Remover. This will remove all the vocals from the original video so that you can put your own commentary on it while maintaining the background sound audible. Now go to the Titles tab, click on Plain Text and pick any basic text drag and drop it on the track above the video. Click on it to select it, then go to Titles tab here, and paste your commentary script in the box. Now right-click on this title element in the timeline and select Text to Speech. Set the language and click on these voice profiles one by one to listen to the voice and pick one. You can also adjust the speed and pitch of the voice as well. Uncheck this Auto Match option and click on OK button. In just 5 to 10 seconds, you voiceover will be ready and added to the media library here. Close this window and drag and drop your audio file in the project timeline like this. Select the title element and delete it. Move this playhead on the timeline to split your audio by pressing this scissors button or by pressing Ctrl B on your keyboard. Now delete those empty audio chunks to clean up the track and match with the video. Drag and adjust these audio parts to synchronize with the video. Now right click on any audio clip and select speech to text. From here, set the language. Select the entire timeline sequence, as well as SRT option, because it will also generate timestamps for easy editing. Make sure the Auto Match option is selected. Press the OK button to start the process. Once done, it will add a text element on the project timeline. Double-click on it to open the editing panel. Here you can see the individual text elements which you can drag from the edges to change the duration of any text part. Over here, you can click on any text part and edit it as per your needs, and can even add more custom text and change the timestamps. For example, in the end, you could add more text such as subscribe for more videos or anything that you want to write. The best way to edit these subtitles 
is to play the video from the preview window here and adjust the duration of each text element along with editing the text. After that, you can click on these tabs to stylize your text and add some animations as well. Adjust the animation duration with this slider and select if you are applying for in or out. In the Customize tab, you can change the text color, add shadows, outline, and even background of the text. So when you created your own style of text and want to save it as a template, you can click here to save as preset. And next time, whenever you need it, you can go to Preset tab and select Custom Presets from the drop-down menu and click on it to select it. Here you can also build with the already styled text presets from Basic and WordArt. Before saving any changes, make sure to click on Apply to All button to apply your text presets to all the text, and then click on Save button. And there you go, the video is ready. This video showcases an artist's dedication and passion for creating art. The artist's project of creating a prototype of an abandoned airplane in a jungle involves a lot of work, focus, and time. The video shows how the artist's attention to detail is at a whole new level as he spends hours building every single piece of the plane. To finish the video, click on Export button at the top right corner, and in the Local tab, write your video file name and set the location where you want to save your file. Click on Settings button, change the bitrate mode to constant bitrate, and put the value as 15,000. Click on Apply. Now click on Export button. That's it. Your video is ready. Now upload two shorts per day with a gap of six hours in between, because YouTube takes six to eight hours to push every new short onto the short shelf. Once you start getting some traction or get your first 100 subscribers, you can upload three shorts per day with a gap of four hours between each of them. Stay consistent for at least one month because discipline is the key. Also check out this channel and see which hashtags are being used if you are in the same niche. If you want to learn more about new AI features of Wondershare Filmora 13, then check out this video right here.